Orionid, you could be able to see up to 20 meteors an hour, but the supermoon that was just in the sky could hamper your view. That's been amazing too. Mm -hmm. A dark open sky with no moon would give the best viewing. Try to look for the meteors in the lower half of the sky. And we should be having some clear skies this week, we uh, should, right? Yeah. Maybe we have I don't some know. really nice weather moving in. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, it, you, you kind of feel like now you're like on your toes. It's that time of the year where, <laughs> sure. you know, it's like one day is 80 and the next is snowing, right? <laughs> um, but this week is pretty calm for us. We do have a, I'll show you the next storm that I'm tracking that could bring in more rain and snow, though. We had a gorgeous sunset tonight. This is from Ogden Foothills. Thanks to Brent for sending in that photo. You can see a little bit of cloud cover. You can see uh, some of those crepuscular rays there coming from the sun. It's just beautiful. And that cloud cover was because of a low pressure system that's been out over the four corners and is now heading into Colorado. But it did bring in one more round of shower activity to central and eastern Utah. In fact, up at Uinta Lens, we uh, picked up a little over half an inch. Daniel Summit picking up over three tenths of an inch. Castledale, same thing. Boulder Summit down in south central Utah at almost three quarters of an inch. And then Bryce Canyon even picking up two tenths of an inch of rain. Kanab picking up over a tenth of an inch of rain. And Moab picking up some significant rain as well. So we had some higher elevation snow up in the mountains. And then we did have some more measurable rain. We even had a little tiny bit over in Utah County. Most of us picking up uh, just a few hundredths of an inch of rain there. Uh, but that was from this low pressure system here. That's continuing to head away. You can see the showers have died down and those are going to be long gone when we wake up tomorrow morning. Temperatures today topped down the mid 60s. This is really right on target for where we should be this time of the year. This is what October should feel like. Mid 70s down in St. George, mid 60s in Moab, a little bit cooler down in southern Utah thanks to some of that cloud cover earlier from that low. We have mid-60s in Ely, and now the temperatures are dropping. Mid-50s at the airport, but many areas along the Wasatch Front are already doing that drop into the upper 40s. Mid-40s in Evanston, 46 in Cedar City, 62 St. George, upper 40s over in Moab. Tomorrow, we'll start off in the 40s in the morning for the Salt Lake area, and then as a quick warm-up, we're into the 60s by noon, and then we're in the upper 60s as we go into the afternoon, and eventually we top out right around 70, 71 degrees tomorrow afternoon. So it is going to feel quite nice out there. Winds coming in out of the southeast at 10, and we should see lighter winds as well, too, as this low pressure system pulls away. High pressure is building in, and that's going to keep any systems. You can see one right here. That's going to get deflected to the north thanks to this high building in, so we really don't have anything coming in anytime soon. You can see how everything just stays north of us. We have a few passing clouds on Tuesday. That's it. Wednesday, beautiful sunny skies. Thursday, warmer than average. Is high pressure. Here it is, building in again. By Friday, clouds coming in. You can see a little dip right here. Uh, that's a sign of a potential cold front coming through. It doesn't bring any shower activity. It just cools us down a tiny bit, not a big drop at all going into next weekend. And we keep it dry through next Saturday, Sunday. Gorgeous weather. And then going into next week, of course, the week of Halloween, look what we potentially could be dealing with. We have the potential for some rain and mountain snow coming in with a more active uh, storm track as we head through next week. So not tomorrow, but a week from tomorrow. So we'll have to see how that all plays out as we gear up for the big Halloween week uh, next week. But for now, things are looking beautiful. Temperatures in the mid-60s tomorrow after lows in the 30s, upper 40s for lows tonight in St. George. You're back up to 75. And then after tomorrow, we're all in the 80s for the rest of the week, low to mid 80s with lows in the low 50s and plenty of sunshine every day. Northern Utah, mid 60s for Logan, and we have high 60s for most of the Wasatch Front and low 70s too. Wasatch back Park City even getting into the low 60s tomorrow. And your seven day forecast showing those temperatures above average Thursday, Friday, 74. Average high 70, 63. So that's more than 10 degrees above average. A little bit cooler Saturday, Sunday, 70. And again, Looking ahead to next week, this could change. I mean, it's really far out, but it does look like we could have some active weather potentially coming in after this coming up week. Yeah, that's not great timing. I know. Especially Just for trick or treating. Like this would be perfect like, this week. Yeah. It would be. So okay, nice. Kristen, thanks. <laughs> the Great Stay, a new study.